Come on, what's the word? Just wa- I'm just watching the St. Francis game. Yes, St. Francis and St. Francis, A and B. <laughs> there you go. Went from PA. So uh, tonight, well, we go to uh, a smaller conferences, schools here, 810, I believe it is. Kennesaw State here to host Liberty. Liberty road favorite, 6.5, total 135.5. Yeah, well, small conference, big game. This is it. This is it. This is the championship game, de facto style in the A-Sun. Uh, yeah, I mean, anything could happen. There's about four games left. But both teams come in 12-2. and two. You have Liberty, the stalwart. Coach McKay's been doing it a long time now with Liberty. He's been around the block a few times. Uh, they're sitting at 21-6, and six, still having a strong year. But... You know, how about uh, think about Kennesaw and their little trip to get to this point and why you don't give up necessarily on a head coach. Amir Abdur Rahim, uh, Sharif Abdur Rahim's brother, he's the coach at Kennesaw. And, you know, just pluck him out there and stick him in. I mean, he was an assistant at Murray, Charleston, uh, A&M, Georgia. He served at Georgia Tech as well. Gets a job at Kennesaw, a, a team that couldn't win a game, basically. Went 1-28 and 28 his first season, 5-19 and 19 his second season, 13-18 and 18 in year three, and here we are, 20-7, and 12-2 in conference. We're not talking about, you know, any of the big six conferences or anything here. We're in the A-Sun, but you, that's what the situation is. You can do work and turn things around and that's the sign of a strong head coach right you take the program not much has changed i mean you're not maybe what are you getting nils i don't know anyways uh they're in position they're 11 and 0 straight up at home tony uh, is kennesaw six and two against the spread at home including four and one against the spread in their last five liberty for all of their successes they do have two conference road losses at third place eku at fifth place lipscomb here you're playing the team you're tied for the liberty is going to have the better numbers analytically if you look at it particularly defensively but the susceptibility may be there deeper in the numbers are four and four straight up on the road this season three and seven against the spread uh, on the road non-true road games one and four against the spread in their last five on the road two and eight against the spread in their last 10 against teams that play above 600 basketball so yeah you got player of the year candidate Darius McGee certainly uh on Liberty is 21 points game and Kyle Road as well. But uh, again, I think Kennesaw, uh, maybe more of a cohesive unit. Maybe Liberty's just a little bit top heavy. But Kennesaw with Chris Youngblood, 15 points a game, Terrell Burton, 13 points a game, and Devon Robinson at 10 points a game. They're a three point shooting team, 28th in the country in three point percentage. Liberty does have a little susceptibility in that department, although we know Liberty's a, a dominant team inside, top offensive rebounding team in the country, and top 10 in field goal percentage inside the arc, 13th in effective field goal percentage. But uh, at this uh, increased value there, Tony, up from an opener of uh, oh, 04, four and a half. I've got to take Kennesaw plus six and a half against Liberty. I like the money line too, but six and a half, that's a gift. I agree with you there. Looking at this game, I, 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 looking at it as, as you're going over it, yeah, I, I can't I agree with this play. 100% Kennesaw State, plus six and a half. Haven't lost a road game yet, a home game yet in conference. And of course, uh, uh, with Kennesaw, uh, it's Ken Palm uh, ranks what they call minutes continuity. I think that's an exclusive to his to his to his uh, power rating. That means the amount of minutes the starting five have played together. They are second in the nation, so they have a lot of chemistry. They played together a lot. Uh, the the, the uh, starters here for uh, Kennesaw State also uh, D1 experience, 58th in the nation. So that goes kind of hand in hand with minutes continuity. The continuity of minutes played together by the starting five is there with this Kennesaw State team. Uh, you're getting good production in, in the interior uh, offensively and defensively. They also do a good job of forcing turnovers, which, of course, you force turnovers at least to fast break points the other side. That's the biggest game, you know, that the team will play in years 
uh, actually tonight. So Liberty's had, you know, their moments as well. Uh, they've been strong for years, but these are the situations you love uh, in a gym like this uh, tonight. This is the game. This is the game tonight. I mean, it's worth checking checking out on ESPN plus uh, Liberty won the game last year interestingly you know in the a Sun is one of those conferences where you play some of the teams twice and uh, some of the teams once and just one time these guys are gonna go at it this year Liberty won the last meeting uh, back last late February about this time uh, maybe a week or two later 100 to 93 Liberty won that game I don't know if it's gonna be you know it's gonna be like that necessarily this time around that's the dramatic improvement uh, of Kennesaw and this veteran lineup uh, as well. Uh, cohesive, like I said, but Liberty, you know, I mentioned McGee and Road, but they've got uh, uh, Shiloh Robinson, uh, Blake Preston off the bend. They're pretty darn good. But again, those road losses at third place EKU, at fifth place Lipscomb, why wouldn't this game uh, be just as difficult as those? All right, we got uh, Ramon here, Kennesaw State plus six and a half against Liberty. This is one to have a start time here of. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and it will be over on ESPN+. Plus. All right, Ramon, let's take a look over at TonySpeaks.com for tonight's action. Of course, uh, as we plashed up there, Ramon has been on absolute fire right now in college hoops over the last uh, 30 days, 2,199 units of profit. Also, the last 30 days, 2,575 units of profit, all sports combined. Last seven days, 2,485 as well. So Ramon has been on absolute fire. What do you have going on over at the site? That'd be in action tonight. Keep it rolling off of last night's 13 and 3 card. I've got a seven pack. I've decided to pass along a little uh, discount. I just thought, hey, we're on a roll. Why not give a big package tonight? All seven of my college games are in there for $35 tonight. Tony, I may add, I want to add more, but I want to get too crazy. But man, we're seeing it well right now. Uh, I can only look up in the standings at my partner on the morning steam, Mindy Hahn. And uh, man, just big numbers that we put up there. Also got a three-pack there in the NHL tonight. We also had some plays together on the Morning Steam Show, some of our premium consensus that you can also get over at Tony'sPicks.com from our Morning Steam Show. If we agree on a game, that's a consensus premium for Mindy and I, and we repackage those here on Tony'sPicks.com. Also, I'm going to be active in all three games tonight in the NBA. That's where I had another big day, so I'm going to come at it hard tonight with a three-pack there in the NBA for $30. So why not pick up the... Uh, weekly or three-day sports pass and get all the plays tonight rather than just buying uh, one or two packages and we could have another big big night tonight when you see the numbers like they are right now uh, they you know they come in streaks maybe sports betting is streaky maybe I'm streaky but right now the streak is uh, that green arrow pointing up so why not get involved with one of those extended packages I'm pretty sure I can do the math, as Tony says, and figure out that the packages are paying for themselves right now with the numbers that are going on over the last 30 days uh, over at Tony'sPicks.com, not only for myself, but for my partner on the Morning Steam Show, Mindy Hahn. Uh, Tony, if you add those up uh, from the tote board yesterday on the leaderboard, the one-day performance from myself, from Mindy and from the morning steam, which is Mindy, myself, and our team in the chat, right? Uh, we came out to 32 wins and eight losses on the day. So uh, how's your, is your handicapper going 80%? If not, get signed up with us at Tony'sPicks.com today. That's right, guys. Get on board here with Ramon Scott over at Tony'sPicks.com. You've seen the results here. They've been, Ramon has been on absolute fire. Uh, so get on board here. Ramon Scott over at Tony's Picks. And, of course, um, we'll flash those numbers up for you once again here. Uh, really, really good performance here for Ramon, as we'll show you here. Uh, 2,100, 2,200 units of profit here last three days in uh, college basketball. But, again, if you look at the overall numbers here over the past three days, 2,574. Last seven days, also strong here at uh, 2485. So a really great performance there for Ramon. So time to go ahead and get on board with Ramon Scott over at Tony'sPicks.com tonight on the board for Ramon. Uh, he has, as he mentioned, it is three is three pack here, full card from the NBA tonight, a three pack up on the board, also in action with that three pack from the NHL, and of course that discount 
uh, seven pack here from College Hoops, thirty-five dollars up there. Uh, again, these these one-day passes are profit guarantee. If they don't turn a profit, uh, you the balance you purchase is credit back in your account for site credits. That is profit guarantee. And as we've talked about, the way Ramones running right now, uh, you may consider the one-month All Sports Pass. Get all Ramones premium plays here for thirty days. As we talked about in the previous segment, includes all Ramones premium plays here from the NBA, from the NHL. College basketball is packed here. The remainder of college basketball's regular season for all conferences. All conference tournaments, minor and major conferences, the play-in rounds, the final, the first four rounds here, uh, that, that uh, Tuesday, Wednesday round, the round of 64, 16 games on Thursday, 16 games on Friday, also the round of 32, uh, the eight games that are played on Saturday, that is covered. The Saturday is when that 30-day that, that plan expires. So that's what's covered on that one month all sports. Tons of college basketball, tons of postseason college basketball. I didn't even mention the minor tournaments uh, right uh, that first week there. Your NIT, CBI, CIT. I think there's another one in Vegas that may go up. We'll find out. Some of them will be will be subject to to team availability. We'll put that asterisk in there, as you know. <laughs> Some of these teams have to pony up the cash. Some of them want to host. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes with these minor tournaments. But then we know the NIT is intact, so uh, that will be covered there with that. 30-day pass, a load of load of games here. We're gonna get these. We're gonna get this college basketball here day and night coming up here, as uh, we just have two weekends left for the smaller conferences, three weekends left for the major conferences. Then we're right into the tournaments, guys. So uh, this is the time to get on board with Ramon Scott. One month pass. We'll do the math for you right now. We'll take sixty-six dollars when you use our promo code Tony T at checkout. You can access Ramon's page by clicking the link you see there in the description. Click the All Cappers tab, and then you will land right on Ramon's page. Go ahead and get signed up. All right, Ramon, we also put together a tour account for you over at Tony's Fix Ramon. Of course, the morning steam show uh, concluded uh, today. You'll have a day off tomorrow coming back Saturday with a lot more content. Yep, another week in the can. And we'll be back with more morning steam on Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 Central, and 6 Pacific. YouTube's earliest look at the day's betting card. Yeah, well, NBA will have a weekend off. We'll have plenty of other action. Maybe I'll even come in with some XFL uh -huh. action. I haven't lost an XFL bet since the year 2000, uh, uh, 20, 2020. Well, I don't even know what year it was that they wrapped up, Tony. But it's been a few years. But the XFL returns this weekend. And, of course, uh, pick up my picks there at Tony's Picks Ramon. i got a free pick for you today. In college basketball comes to you on the betting board. Head over to Tony's Picks Ramon and pick up my free winner. It comes to you in the game. Then the OBC between Tennessee State and Moorhead tonight at Tony's Picks Ramon. And don't forget, I have the embedded video content on the Tony's Picks site. So a reason to head on over to Tony'sPicks.com. Not only to check out those handicapper leaderboards, but I got a couple of plays also on there. Our sponsor video, I'm going to play for you in the San Francisco Pacific game. And another play with my leaderboard video where I humbly get to talk about that uh, 32 and 8 performance by Mindy and I and our esteemed chat room. Some of them are here in our chat room right now helping us make those picks. Uh, we mentioned, you know, Mindy's day yesterday. I what was 14 and two or something crazy, and uh, I was 13 and three. But the morning steam picks were seven and one. So that's a credit to everyone in our chat room because usually we like to see uh, before Mindy and I, before I confirm Mindy's play and put the stamp on it for uh, morning steam consensus premium kind of waiting to see if the chat kind of agrees with us and you know if we get a little majority going on there then it's a premium consensus play sometimes mindy and i have to veto that and just go with what we have but still that's part of the fun of it and uh we feel great when the team steam does well as well tony so yep there you see the leaderboards and the packages we'll have all those games up there today there's the sponsor video uh, on the site and the leaderboard videos where I talk about not only a uh, great job by the whole crew yesterday, Tony, if you look at the full leaderboard, uh, you know, almost every handicapper was on that leaderboard yesterday with a profitable day. 
Yes, they were. Uh, that was a really good performance here. Raw the Cappers over at TonySpeaks.com. A fantastic day yesterday. And, of course, uh, you can catch Ramon's extra videos here right here. One of them is on our leaderboard video. Uh, just click the premium picks tab and you'll find it there up on the top uh, with the uh, uh, leaderboard video. Back to the home page is where you'll find the sponsored video. Just scroll down right near the pick ticker and that's where you'll find our free pick of the day. And of course, that's from Ramon here from sponsored video. And as Ramon was saying, scroll down. You can see the defaults by the day. Look at that. 13 of our 15 <laughs> or 16 are here the on the top. The must be crying in their breakfast. Oh, yes. They're not happy at all when that's, that happens. Look at that. Lots of winners here here uh, on the day yesterday. 90% uh, of our group hit, hit the profit level, hit the profit yesterday. So fantastic day. Everybody right. must have won. These, yeah. <laughs> these are cappers. That's what we saw. Top cappers in our industry uh, posting their plays. Of course, they're documented. You can verify all those numbers over at Tony'sPicks.com. Uh, over at each capper's page, go down to pick history. You'll see them there, no doubt about that. All right, Ramon, as always, uh, great having your show. Keep up the great work, and we'll catch up with you again uh, tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Tony. Great job by the team. Absolutely. Ramon Scott.